all rise. Gives this bride to be married. Please. You may be seated. Jordan, that was a good sign. You didn't punch out. <laughs> <laughs> For those of us blessed by a true partnership of love, we feel safe in the presence of our loved ones. There is no need to hide any part of ourselves for fear of being judged or rejected. We can just be together from moment to moment, believing that those moments will thread together into eternity. There is a gentleness to the presence of love that softens life's rough edges. It makes us somehow braver to go forth into the world knowing that the shelter of someone's love awaits us at the end of the day. We are most vulnerable when we love. We place our trust in one another to honor us, to care for us, to treasure us, and to receive our love. In love, we trust that the other will provide a safe haven in which we can experience and share the fullness of our being with one another. In so doing, we trust that our lives will be far richer than having chosen separate journeys through this world. We trust that our love will fill us full and make us wiser and more beautiful beings. We find that our union graces our lives with balance, sweetness beyond any we have ever tasted, and a treasure beyond any measure of value we have ever known. Okay, buddy. This is, this is it, okay? Do you take Kelsey to be your wife, to live together in the holy bond of married life? Do you promise to honor and to uphold her and to join her with her in making a home that shall endure in love and peace? Do you affirm your purpose of a deeper union with her, whereby you both shall know joy and fulfillment of love? Do you pledge to her your complete faithfulness through all the changing experiences of life, and of your own free volition do you now give yourself to her completely, spirit, soul, and body, that from this day forth you shall be hers alone so long as you both shall live? I do. Elsie, do you take Jordan to be your husband, to live together in the holy bond of married life, do you promise to honor and uphold him and to join with him in making a home that shall endure in love and in peace? Do you affirm your purpose of a deeper union with him, whereby you both shall know joy and fulfillment of love? Do you pledge to him your complete faithfulness through all the changing experiences of life, and of your own free volition do you now give yourself to him completely, spirit, soul, and body, that from this day forth you shall be his alone so long as you both shall live? Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for all of the experiences that have brought this couple together today. We thank you, Lord, that they met, and that they became friends, Lord, that they shared so much, and that they realized that in sharing that for their entire lives, we'll make them both fuller than they had ever been as individuals. We thank you, Lord, for this, and we thank you for the journey that they have been on, and the journey that they will be on, and we pray that you will watch over them, guide them, protect them. Jesus' name. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, it says that love is patient, love is kind, it is not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, and love never fails. Jordan, do you love Kelsey? Enough to give over game night and eat your Oh, he read my script. Yeah. <laughs> Kelsey, do you love Jordan? Enough to sit at a car show all day? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta watch this guy. I'm glad I'm not a fifth grade math kid. <laughs> That's right. Your love for one another will continue to grow and grow just as a beautiful garden, okay? Just as long as you guys sow the right seeds. 
it's your choice. You can either plant weeds or you can plant, you know, flowers. So I encourage you to plant flowers. In John 15, 13, it says this, Greater love has no one than this, that they lay down their life for their friends. In order to plant love, you have to live unselfishly towards one another. And Cindy and I have seen you two do that. It's been a real blessing watching you two and, and learning about some of your experiences and learning about your differences, but knowing that in those differences, you just roll and love one another. You know, like when Jordan organizes everything and puts everything in boxes, you still love it. Yeah. And like when you game all night long, you still love it. Right? Yeah, okay. So you love each other, okay? Do you like each other? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all the time? All the time. Okay, well that might change, okay? <laughs> so, to grow in love and to continue to like each other, the best way to do that is to be honest with another, with one another. And I've got this simple little sentence that Cindy and I have used for 43 years, okay, and it works really well. When you're having trouble, you look at Jordan and you say, you know, I love you, but I'm having trouble liking you right now. Because you are being a, you can put in the words. <laughs> Can you help me like you right now? And I'll, I'll email you that. Okay. okay. And, and Jordan, I, you can say, Kelsey, I love you, but I'm having trouble liking you right now because you are being it and you can put in the words. Okay. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah, just be careful because then she's going to have to help you like me. And if you put in the wrong words, she's going to have to help you even more. Right? Okay. So the fastest way to get someone to like you is to do something unselfish. Continue doing that for the rest of your life. Now we come to the fun part, the vows. Jordan and Kelsey, today you enter as individuals, but you will leave here as husband and wife, blending your lives, expanding your family ties, and embarking upon the grandest adventure of human interaction. The story of your life together is still yours to write. All those present have come to witness and celebrate your love and commitment this day eager to be a part of the story not yet told. True marriage is more than joining the bonds of marriage to two persons. It is the union of two hearts. It lives on the love that you give each other and never grows old, but thrives on the joy of each new day. Marriage is love. And may you always be able to talk things over, to confide in one another, to laugh with each other, to enjoy life together, and to share moments of quiet and peace when the day is done, may you be blessed with a lifetime of happiness and a home of warmth and understanding. Jordan and Kelsey, remember to treat yourselves and each other with respect and to remind yourself often of what brought you together. Take responsibility for making the other feel safe and give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty, and fear assail your relationship as they threaten all of us, Please remember to focus on what is right between you, not just the part that seems wrong. In this way, you can survive the times when clouds drift across the face of the sun of your lives, remembering that just because you may lose sight of it for a while, it does not mean that the sun has gone away. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. No other human ties are more tender and no other vows are more important than those you are about to take. Both of you come to this day with deep realization that the contract of marriage is sacred, as are all of its obligations and responsibilities. Jordan, will you repeat after me? I, Jordan, I, Jordan, promise you, Kelsey, promise you, Kelsey, that I will be your husband, that I will be your husband from this day forward, from this day forward, to be faithful and honest, to be faithful and honest, in every way, in every way, to honor the faith and trust you place in me, to honor the faith and trust you place in me, to love and respect you, to love and respect you, in your successes and in your failures, in your successes and in your failures, to make you laugh, to make you laugh, and to be there when you cry, and to be there when you cry, to care for you in sickness, to care for you in sickness, and in health, and in health, to softly kiss you, to softly kiss you. He said that with an enthusiasm. Didn't he? <laughs> when you are hurting, when you are hurting, and to be your companion, and to be your companion, and your friend, and your friend, on this journey that we make together, on this journey that we make together. Kelsey, would you repeat after me? I, Kelsey. 
I tell you. Take you, Jordan. Take you, Jordan. To be my husband. To be my husband. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our union. <laughs> I will cherish our union. <laughs> and love. And love. You more each day. You more each day. <laughs> than I did before. I will trust you and respect you. I will trust you and respect you. Laugh at you and cry with you. <laughs> Laugh at you and cry with you. Loving you faithfully. Loving you faithfully. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. Regardless of the obstacles we may face together. Regardless of the obstacles we may face together. I give you my hand. I give you my hand. My heart and my love. My heart and my love. From this day forward. From this day forward. May I please have the ring? Jordan's just quite a bit bigger than her. Wow. <laughs> Can't lose his, but yours you got to be careful. With. Wedding rings are made precious by our wearing them. Your rings may say that even in your uniqueness you have chosen to be bound together. Let these rings also be a sign that love has substance as well as a soul, a presence as well as a past, and that despite its occasional sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. May these rings remind you always of the vows you have taken here today. Kelsey and Jordan exchange these rings today as confirmation of their vows to join their lives, to work at all times to create a life that is complete and unbroken, and to love each other without end. May the Lord bless these rings that you give each other as a symbol of your love and fidelity. Jordan. Take this ring and place it on her finger and state your pledge to her repeating after me. With this ring, I be with. With this ring, I be with. I offer you my hand and my heart. I offer you my hand and my heart. As I know they will be safe with you. As I know they will be safe with you. All that I am, I give you. All that I am, I give you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Kelsey, take that ring. Place it on Jordan's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I be with. With this ring, I be with. I offer you my hand. I offer you my hand. And my heart. And my heart. As I know they will be safe with you. As I know they will be safe with you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Jordan and Kelsey have chosen as a couple to perform a memory box ceremony and you guys have created your very own romantic time capsule this box contains a bottle of wine two glasses and a love letter from each other the letters describe the good qualities that they find in one another the reasons they fell in love and their reasons for choosing to marry the letters are sealed in individual envelopes and they have not seen what the other has written they will open this box to share and enjoy on their fifth year wedding anniversary, then replenish and open it on their 10th anniversary and continue on as they desire. But should Jordan and Kelsey ever find their marriage facing insurmountable hardships, they will open this box, sit and drink the wine together, and read the letters they have wrote to one another to re be reminded of the reasons why they are together and replenish to be open at a later date. So hopefully you guys will make it till five. But if you make it till one, then you can do it on two and three and four. <laughs> but I'm pretty confident you'll make it. Okay. As a couple unites, it's always wonderful when the family is there to support them. And so today, we're going to ask the parents to do just that and to vow their support for this couple. 
Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins and Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Mr. and Mrs. Enright, just as each of you have raised your children in the covering of a Christian home, I now charge you before God and this assembly to honor and support the union of Jordan and Kelsey, to uphold all godly standards as parents and to respect all of the rights and privileges granted by God to them as a couple. Do you agree to do so? There was no yeas or nays. No yeas. <laughs> Okay, let's pray. Father, we just thank you so much that you're here in this place, that you're here in the hearts of this couple. Lord, we thank you for the love that surrounds them. We thank you, Lord, that, that their friendship is truly, truly genuine. Father, it, it, a, a true friend is, is a hard, hard person to find, and it's even more wonderful when you grow in love with that person and they become your friend your soulmate for life. So Lord, we pray your protection and your blessing over this union, over this friendship, and over this love. We pray, Lord, that you would be with them, enlarge their lives as they grow together. In Jesus' name, amen. Now for the really good part. Jordan, you may kiss the bride. By the powers vested in me, by God's holy church, I now pronounce you man and wife. Dear friends, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins. Thank <laughs> you. 